Yeah, sorry. It was again one of those things we forgot to put on a camera. And it was a little bit hectic because we have something like 12 knots of wind. And Pietro. Yeah, Pietro is navigating and steering and trying to go into this very narrow channel in. Yeah. 21 meters. Yeah, nine knots of wind. So the wind is. It's really gusting in here and so I think the mast is a little bit higher than we are but there's boats coming in there's jet skis coming out in and I don't necessarily know coal wrecks Bonifacio was really a highlight and now we're getting into the into not the ocean into the sea the mediterranean sea oh look at that passenger ship Here are two crazies from South Africa. That is Frick and Pietru. We decided to chuck everything and now we are living and sailing full time on our new home, Sisu. We need to get away from the... First of all, there is supposed to be a lull over here. And a lull the... and 40 knots. A lull and 40 knots. A lull and 40 knots. Yeah, so... According to Windy, all the weather models say yes, it's going to be a lull, but we've got... We are gusting 16 knots. So predict wind, we're saying that this area here is going to be zero wind. That is predict wind, zero wind. So those clouds that's rolling there is part of the reason why we think we should start leaving Corsica and go a little bit more north. Very soon that will generate a lot of lightning and I'm not into the lightning scene. We expect tonight to have a lot of wind coming our way. So our friends with the Lagoon Proud Cat is just, just coming out of the Genoa. So they're still on a port deck and we are busy on a starboard deck. But yeah, the Lagoon 45 and also the Leopard 25, they are very well in competition. So I don't think one is better than the other one at this moment. They also reefed one, we also reefed one. Look at that, we exited uh, Bonifacio almost at the same distance. Pietro heard a screw or something small falling and and it is our deck light so if you look carefully you will see that our deck light is dangling maybe below the Yeah, there you can see. So it's only on electrical wire. Guess what? Oh, I'm going to go climb up the mast. Oh. <laughs> 
it's not easy going up um yeah i cannot hold the camera and hold myself here okay i managed to to tape it with duct tape and also with a with a piece of string i think it will it will last at least for for this passage now i need to get down and our friend sprout cat <laughs> come to investigate and it is it is shaking like hell you must be like a monkey here and <laughs> it's just not i'm sweating <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> you can let me down. I'm safely back. The harness is here. Um, and a lightning storm is just developed right in front of us. So I think I need to get away from the mast. So. <laughs> so the thing is tight. Pietro is shouting at me. I need to get inside. Look at that storm. Right in front of us. Actually all around us. We are here in the middle here. And that is the storm. And it's a lightning storm. It is <laughs> it's not good news. But luckily I'm down. I think you saw the time. It's now quarter past five. So that took us about an hour. So it's always at night. <laughs> and also now with a storm. It's like <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it starts to rain. It actually started to rain. What a night. We had uh... <laughs> Yeah, it always happens at night, isn't it? Or maybe we only notice it because it happens at night. I'm sure during the day we also have some some catastrophic things happening but it's not as troublesome as during the night so look at the sunrise this is really awesome I'm trying to sail perfect ID but we don't have that much luck so far but look at this pretty clouds ah. so we have thunderstorms all around us and there's also one and the wind was predicted to blow from here from west to east so it was supposed to be westerlies but as you can see it's very southerly but i think it's the storms that's causing the wind to go but we are busy detecting that the wind might start leaning over to to become from our side a westerly so i'm going to and i want to do a wing on wing so I think I need to first jive this one and do the wing on wing because there, that storm over there, I think it's busy blowing also in this direction if you look at all the little clouds there, they're all standing like that so it means the wind, oh, there we go, we should do that I'm trying to get away from this guys and that guy because if they catch us they just got more um, heavier and heavier rain on that side and now I can see it starts to rain over there as well so that one is new that one is a massive one so let's see what Pietro is making while we're having fun <laughs> she is cooking up a storm doing the brightest wraps look at that there's some stuff is there looks like egg, bacon is done, sauce is done, oh, cheese is cut so now it's wrapping time 
all this Time. nice goodies. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know. If I let figure out where the road goes. Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my. Sorry. Actually, Pietro filled all the sails in, even the big code in looks pretty tight and neat. Because the wind just. But look at this. We just missed that one. As you can see, it is raining outside. But we're gonna arrive in France at Monaco five o'clock in the morning so we have to raise the French flag now I don't think five o'clock is gonna be a good time to do it and poor old trick is up front they're in the rain it's raining again <laughs> Corsica Corsica is kind of like in uh, Automotive mess. <laughs> uh, they like their little flag to be flown, but France will not tolerate <laughs> that in France proper. So we need to change. Now we'll just do the French flag. So we try to slow down a little bit so that we can arrive there in the morning and not at the night. And it's sunset, or well, very close to sunset. But there's some pretty painting, painted pictures. So, we have sunshine. For a change, we have some sunshine. And, but it's still bloody cold. You can see the European winter is here. It's upon us, but we have sunshine. Something I want to just mention. So we have a Leopard 45 and our friends have a Lagoon 45. Not sure what model, but it is a 45 Lagoon. And we are so well matched. If we put our code D up and I put their code D up, there's not much difference between our speed and their speed. And um, okay, we've not. At one point, we did do into the wind and the angle pointing into the wind. We were very much the same. Um, it's not that we could beat them or they could beat us. Even the speed into the wind were actually pretty much the same. And that is them over there. So they got now their, also their Genoa up, and, oh, oh, sorry, they got their Genoa up, and we've got our Genoa up, because oh, both of us decided we need to, to slow down. Otherwise, we will be there too early to um, like one o'clock or two o'clock if we keep on having all our sails up and racing towards Monaco. So we decided we will not race <laughs> because we need to we need to get there around when the sun rises or when it's getting light. Um, but the lagoon is actually. That Lagoon 45, it is pretty much on par with the Leper. And that actually was quite surprising for me. Pietro is busy making for us some tea. While we wait for our friends to come and anchor. 
but we oh and there's two spells Sisu feels very small next to all these big, big boats. Like I said, this was our neighbor last night. Well, this morning when we came in at about 5.30. And now that the sun is properly up, we have discovered... Well, we've heard about this boat from friends of ours that's anchored here before. This guy's got a power boat on his boat. The mast sticking out there at the back is his yacht, his sailing yacht. And then there is his rubber duck. <laughs> How do people like this live? These little back porch umbrellas and all. It's like a little restaurant. <laughs> I wonder how he gets it off. So let's see in the crane. Look at that. Oh, there is the crane. I wonder if that's what a helicopter pad there at the back top of that roof. Another one that we were next to. Looks like a thing from outer space. Climb around. Look at that. Cheapest creepers. My eyes. Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly So this is still France. That we will France. And with that helicopter around that corner is Monaco. We'll go around there now. Somebody's at all helicopter taking off. Believe it. Oh, I can't zoom in anymore. Okay. Good news, no fire. Unlucky owner of a new car getting delivered by helicopter. <laughs> Where does the money end go? Another chopper. No car deliveries. <laughs> we're coming in to get another one. Guess where, guess where we are? <laughs> you will not believe it. Well, I don't believe it. Look at this.
So this is the castle of Monaco. And Pietro has been doing videoing all the time. Yeah, so we are passing Monaco. I think that is the, the library or the Oceanography Institute or something like that. And there is the the, monas the, the castle itself. The monarchy. The monarchy. So ah. we are actually right here. <laughs> you can't believe it. And oh the helicopter is going up and down and we have, we, we passed the yacht that had the a uh, dinghy, no, yeah, a power boat and a sailboat. A super yacht that you has a yacht, <laughs> a normal yacht. <laughs> and I'm just saying now, don't these people have cars to go to work and back with? Because they all just go to work with helicopters. Don't they, can't they just use a regular cars? And it, I won't have a car delivered by helicopter. Yeah, so I cannot fly the drone here, yeah? obviously not, because it will compete with other rotary, rotary devices or aircraft. But yeah, so we will try get Tipex in the water. We're going to try and anchor over there. I see there's a big boat going into the harbor. We will see whether we are allowed to go in with Sisu into the harbor. Majestic. Not nice looking, but it is majestic. That is much better. Okay, so this is the castle of Monaco. Just a pile of bricks, but it's momentous. I guess from the other side it might look like something I don't know but not quite what I expected <laughs> <laughs> 